Hi, how's it going? This is Resin of Collinwood for YouTube, and I'm here to discuss the southern branch of the Collins family. Does one exist? I would say yes. I would say, though, in my opinion, there's more than one. To me, there would at least be two, and to me, there would be one in Tennessee and one in Louisiana. Now, Would any of them be cursed mixed in with legends? Now, I wouldn't necessarily mix in because when you when I think of Tennessee, I think of the Bell Witch from Adams, Tennessee. Now, there are other like there's another legend I'm going to get into. The reason I more know about the Bell Witch than the other legends is because I had family from Whitwill, Tennessee. Yes, that's a real place. <laughs> and my great uncle once took us to Adams, Tennessee. So now, and he explained what the Bell Witch was. Uh, so there is the legend of the of the blood mine where. If there's a woman named Sadie, I forget her last name, that was buried alive by our community in the, I want to say the 19th century, um, if I'm mistaken, please correct me, and if you leave money on her grave, it'll appease her, but it will, it might appease her, but people who go up there at night swear they see her, like, walking at the Now, maybe one of the, like from a fictional sense, you could say maybe one of the accusers was a Collins. So, you know, again, do you, it, it all depends on do they want to use real legend, you know, legend that, that everyone knows exists a part of said state, the states you want to use, or do you just want to make up legends? Um, <sighs> I don't know, could you, could you really get into the whole Davy Crockett thing and connect him with the Collinses somehow? I have no idea. Probably not. I would say no. It'd be too... It, here's the thing. There's so many tales of Davy Crockett, it's not even funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> there just is. Okay? <laughs> just really... <laughs> Davy Crockett did this. Davy Crockett did that. Davy, it just that's all I'm going to say. Now, for Louisiana, well, real quick for Tennessee, what would the Collins family members, certain Collins family members, be doing in Tennessee? This is going to sound odd, but if you've ever been to certain places in Tennessee, again, I set up in the Whitwill and Adams. When you go to Whitwill, Whitwill is one thing. It, it It's what's well, called money, and it's fishing. There's a lot of places in Tennessee to go fishing. Um, I don't know, could you make one of the Collinses like a fish monster where they have to live in water? I don't know. Maybe you could. Maybe. <laughs> crazy with that sound. But there, I'm sure there's something I'm missing here that maybe you guys could help me out with. So if you know the legend of Tennessee that may fit in with the Collins family. The reason I don't want to use the Bell Witch is because it's so well known. I mean, it literally, it just, it's one of the most well known legends of the state. So now... That, again, what would they be doing from a, you know, employment standpoint? How about bootlegging and moonshot? Oh, you know, making and selling illegal moonshot. And maybe one of the moonshine deals kills somebody. And that's how they get cursed, you know. It's their moonshine they're selling. And no one's telling because there's people buying it. So, again, there's things you could do there. To go to the Louisiana side of it, to where maybe there's Collins families in Louisiana. Now, I have this a little more planned out. 
I would have someone reading a book in the library and that person is a Collins and here it's this girl this young girl and she leaves the library goes into a cemetery and we see her walk into a mausoleum you think this is she's gonna like open it and you're gonna see a coffin like you know in Collinsport in Collinwood no she oh she goes into a mausoleum opens a secret passage and goes down the steps the thing closes and here it's a laboratory literally a laboratory where she's experimenting on the dead where she's literally experimenting or maybe experimenting on something else so there's a lot again there's a lot of things you could do again i did not do the full torque of this but i will say i do think there is a southern branch of the collins family and now i just don't think there's just one state of the collins family i think there's even really i've always wondered if there's not just necessarily a southern branch but we hear about collins port maine so much it makes you wonder well are there are there Collins family members living in Canada? Are there Collins family members living, I don't know, in Michigan, Ohio? You know, there's a lot of places out there. Are there, you know, West Virginia? Um, I could, that would be a great, great, again, because of the Mothman. The Mothman is something maybe you could say the Collins has had a hand in, maybe a Collins family member was experimenting on an actual human being and it created it turned him into a living breathing moth man you know sort of ordeal um that's something you could do again there's a lot of things you could do when you when you look into act you know actual folklore and the things that they could do with a southern branch of the Collins family. The only thing I'll say is this. If they if they honestly say they have a southern branch, they they need to come up with a better way than what I just did the mouth Um because my way you know, you say, I think I said Caleb when I started this video. If I didn't, I apologize that Caleb Collins started somehow started the Southern Branch. I, I think that if I didn't say that, I meant to say it, but which I don't love that idea personally. But, um, <laughs> but I do think there is a Southern Branch of the Collins family. My only, again, my only thing with it is. I think there's more than just one southern state that has Collins family members in it. There might be two. Hell, there might be three. Uh, again, I would say maybe West Virginia, Tennessee, and uh, Louisiana. That would be the three states, I would say. That would be my pick. But what would you guys' picks be for the southern states that maybe there would be a southern branch of the Collins family. I want to hear your thoughts, your picks. You guys have a great, great night. Have a good one.